wish I could see myself right now. Actually, it doesn't matter, I guess. I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this, because this will surely kill off my last few subscribers. But authenticity is key, I guess, just like communication is. So I'll be authentic and communi communicate. <laughs> By the way, I basically just woke up, so don't mind my appearance. Um, and I, I wish you could see my setup right now. <laughs> Gosh, I'll just, I'll just talk. I'm not using any script, even though I wish I would, but that would make it less authentic, so I'll keep it the way it is right now. <coughs> 2020. <coughs> not a very comfortable year for most of us, and there are reasons behind that. Obviously, I don't wanna. I don't want to start with the virus topic, though. Let me let me introduce you to a topic that is very important and also connected with the bad stuff that happened this year. <clears throat> don't get triggered. I'm a vegan since several years now, and. There are also reasons reasons behind that. Let me let me first explain to you what veganism means, what it truly means because there are a lot of people that spread false information about it that leads to I believe a lot of confusion. First off, the definition of veganism is not a diet. Veganism means to avoid as much harm to animals as practically and reasonably possible. Which means, let's walk through some examples. In a clothing store and I see different shoes and clothes <laughs> and there are some made out of leather and wool and silk and down and you name it, stuff that originated from the skin of an animal or literally is the skin of an animal. And we have 2020. There are a lot of other clothings that don't use parts of animals. Small information, package, you know what I'm talking about. Fun fact, that's the word I was uh, searching for. In case you didn't know, but humans are also animals. Spoiler alert. Humans are mammals. Just like dogs and cats, but also just like pigs and cows and goats and dolphins and whales and a bunch of other creatures that we share this planet with. Whereas I, um, fun fact, humans are animals, yes. To avoid animal harm, that is the premise of veganism. So I see clothing that contains animal parts and I see clothing that doesn't. So, common sense, as a vegan, you buy those who don't contain harm to animals or literally the parts of animals. That is clothing, obviously also food, and there are a bunch of health benefits if you go vegan. Obviously, only if you're doing it right though, I'm sorry, I still haven't eaten. There are a bunch of health benefits if you go vegan, so I can see why many people think they would go vegan because of that. but. You're not going vegan for that. You're going vegan because moral stance. And you don't want to contribute to that. 
you go vegan because you don't want to harm anyone. That is the logic behind of that. So when it comes to all those people you see on the internet that claim to be no longer vegan and stuff like that, those people never were vegan in the first place. Let me give you an example to comprehend that easier, more easily, I guess. It's like you just imagine we are back 200 years, 200 years in the past in America or whatever. I don't know. I just need to think of a moral example so maybe it's easier to understand. Slavery was still a thing over there, I believe. Actually, it doesn't matter when that happens. You know that it happened. And that is all that counts. I, I'm not a history teacher or something. Slavery was legal. People were importing slaves with ships and stuff. Imagine somebody said, you know what? Let's stop importing slaves because those ships are bad for the environment. Let's not do that. If you would use that logic in front of family members that like um, originated from a family that had to endure slavery, it would be disgraceful, it, was, it, it, it would be disrespectful and who would assume you're a psychopath, I guess. Because you don't stop importing slaves or you don't stop slavery because it's bad for the environment, you stop it because it's literally immoral and you don't treat other beings that can feel and think and experience existence just like you do, you don't treat them like objects. You give them basic rights to freedom of choice unless it harms somebody else, obviously. There is a good quote regarding that. I try to uh, translate. Yeah. I try to tra translate it as good as I can. Um, freedom means doing everything you can do, except if it hurts another. And animals are another, just like we are animals. It's so easy. It's literally that easy. And a lot of you already know, basically. They just know in a racist-like concept because dogs and cats are family members and dolphins and monkeys have to be protected for some arbitrary reason but pigs and cows and turkeys and chickens and minks and foxes don't? Why is that? Why do people treat one differently than another. I know why, basically. Because I talked to a lot of people in these past four years about it and most people use the same justifications over and over again, which are difference taste, convenience, and tradition. Now let me uh, walk you through. There is... No, no, no. Let's use our previous example from before. Slavery. Actually, it's a pretty good example because animals are enslaved in industry. Imagine people would argue to stop slavery because it's more convenient to use machines or whatever instead of slaves. Like, what sick individual would argue like that? 
tell me. That's the stuff I failed to comprehend in those last four years, honestly. Because I know we've been all conditioned like that. We all have been conditioned to treat one with respect and kill another for food and clothing and unnecessary testing. Like, come on. I fail to comprehend the reasoning behind that because you don't stop unethical behavior because of taste and convenience. You stop because it's immoral. It doesn't matter if it's convenient or not. It doesn't matter if you have to pay more, for example, even, even though you don't have to in that example. Because let's go back to veganism and frozen batch dibbles and legumes and cans and fruits and vegetables in general and potatoes and rice and grains, quinoa, couscous. Those foods aren't expensive. I mean, obviously, you could it com you could compare it to, like vegan steak and vegan sausages and vegan cheese and stuff. But let me tell you another fun fact first. Or let me tell you too. Animal products like real meat and cheese and all of that stuff, they get subsidized by tax money. Basically. Everyone pays with their taxes so that meat and dairy and eggs and all of that stuff becomes cheaper. Yeah, that is um, not something vegan companies get. It has to do a lot of a lot with lobbyism, something you can Google right up don't believe me, there are lobbyists from the animal agriculture who basically are involved with laws. It's not just politicians. There are people from industries that are involved in lawmaking. Let's go back to veganism. So obviously you could compare it to vegan steak and that stuff, but let me tell you something first. Vegan steak is not something you need. Just like you don't need real milk, you don't need soy milk, you don't need any of that processed stuff. The only food you need are, are food from four basic groups, which are <sighs> fruits, vegetables, legumes, and starch-based stuff like potatoes and rice and grains you don't need anything more and obviously if you want to have something more tasteful you could buy that vegan steak and I'm not against it obviously and that can be more expensive but let's go back to why people go vegan in the first place why people truly go vegan in the first place it's not because of convenience or tradition or taste or something like that. It's because it's immoral to not be vegan. Because if you're not vegan, you pay for the slavery and rape and torture and dismemberment and murder of innocent beings. Simple as that. I need to eat something soon. You go vegan because it's the moral thing to do. Peace starts at the dinner table with a vegan meal. Because... Oh, oh, it's... It's insane, actually, that I have to talk about that, actually. Because something y'all preach is... Treat others like you want to be treated. And let me ask you a question. If you have a companion animal like a dog or a cat or I don't know, people have rats or mouses or whatever. Are those animals 
someone or something. Because if you would say someone, I would like to know why pigs, cows and chickens and turkeys and all of that animals that literally get treated worse than you could ever imagine why those don't count as someone. Because if you don't count them as someone, that is a lie. You are lying to yourself. You know that those animals, you know that, you know, you look into their eyes and you know there is someone in there. Just like there is someone in you, basically. Um, yeah, it's not that difficult. And I don't... I don't want to like unfold that whole topic because I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, I don't know. I'm giving anecdotal evidence that I still haven't died, I guess. Even though you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't like rely on some person on the internet and what they are eating and stuff like that because they are just human just like you are they are not some perfect being we all have our flaws but what defines us as ethical beings i guess is that we can look at this those flaws realize them and evolve from them distance ourselves from issues we created in the past or wrong behaviors we acted out in the past there is no nothing wrong about realizing that you did something wrong it is wrong though if you realize those and not changing even though it's so easy like when i first became vegan i had no idea about cooking I was basically eating microwave food all day and I had no idea about cooking. Yeah. I went vegan overnight though. I informed myself. I did what every one of us is capable to. I went to Google and looked up how I could cook food basically. You can learn everything on the internet today nowadays you you have thousands of recipes for vegan lasagna vegan bolognese vegan you name it it's not hard it is not hard at all because there's one thing that makes it as easy as it could get easy as it could become i'm not too good with grammatics you go vegan because you view the issue from the victim's point of view if you view the situation from their eyes it's the most easiest thing to do because you're not doing that for yourself you benefit your you benefit obviously you benefit from that because you're not eating stuff your body is not designed to eat you're not involved in so many industries that kill off this planet. You're not involved in, in lying industries anymore. You're not funding death and torture. To a big degree, obviously. Because we can talk about other immoral things on earth like child labor and stuff like that. But let me tell you one simple thing. If you buy clothing, there is a possibility that child labor was involved. You could try to look as much as you can into the origins of that clothing, but maybe you're not sure 100% at the end because you're, you don't get necessary information. When you buy animal products, though, it's as safe as the amen in church basically that torture and objectification was involved from innocent beings those industries they treat 
you know, if you if you make money of somebody without their consent, you're treating them not like the being it is. I don't know how to if you if you make money of somebody without their consent, it's slavery. Nobody ever asked that animals. Nobody could ask those animals because they can't give consent because they have the mental capability of a three-year-old human child, basically. You can't get consent, but that doesn't give you the right to like enslave them anyway because they obviously avoid pain and suffering just like we do just like three or year old human children do i don't know it's actually pretty easy i can give you some f sources in the description if you actually never heard of anything about veganism i don't know i don't know who you are right now who's watching this who is still watching easy that is all i'm basically trying to say there's no such thing as an ex-vegan let me be clear about that because there is no such thing as an ex-slavery opposer there is no such thing as an ex-anti-sexist or something if you realize a moral issue you don't go back it's it's not it's not working like that now let me briefly talk about the issues that happened this year. Oh boy, there is a connection. Let me say something in between really quick because isn't it isn't it sad enough that somebody like me who never studied nutrition or is a politician or is involved in, 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 in very important jobs on this world. I'm, I'm not. I'm basically just like you. Just some random guy who knows a lot about something and knows not very much about something else. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Isn't it sad that I realized that four years ago and actually even before that because I, I, I became vegetarian with, with 14 because back then I already realized that it's wrong to harm another living, feeling and sentient being. I didn't make the connection between the dairy and egg industry and leather and all of that stuff though but I did later on and I evolved from that and I avoided all those industries later on but i guess you could say the the realization i made as a teenager i i lacked the necessary information but i understood you know isn't it sad enough that so many people who call themselves mature and and adult treat others like commodities and literally eat literally eat these severe body parts of the most innocent of babies pigs are being slaughtered usually at the age of six months chickens usually after a few weeks cows after a few days if they are male because they have no use to the industry and females usually after three to four years after they have been continuously raped over and over again for a mammal to give milk you have to be pregnant or gave birth give birth do you know what i mean semantics grammatic that doesn't that, that's not important you you obviously get what i'm trying to say cows are being killed usually after three to four years after they can't give milk anymore which one could argue is a worse fate 
than pigs and chickens and other animals have to endure because they have to suffer for four years continuously. They have to lose their child over and over again. Obviously, all of that is immoral, but um, cows truly are especially unfortunate. And for what? For milk, something that is loaded with pus and hormones, estrogen, antibiotics, shit particles, people people say vegans are weird for drinking soy milk what are non-vegans drinking imagine that i'm emotional and um on temper right now if you couldn't tell already because it is a very sensible topic because it, it involves the rape dismemberment torture and murder of innocent beings on a scale most of you can't even imagine 50 over 50 billion land animals actually if you go worldwide it's over 150 billion land animals every year that get killed and if you count in the marine life it's easily in the trillions. We don't count individuals, though. We count them in tons, which is so sickening in itself. It is a very sensible and emotional topic because um, it involves killing and injustice, basically. Most people don't seem to realize, though, even though they made the connection between their own species and some other. Why though? I don't know. Is it because of conditioning? Of media? Probably. But for sure it's not out of your own decisions. If you remember closely, we all laughed the stories our parents told us, all of them, about animals. We giggled uncontrollably and wanted to play with them. Because we are empathic individuals. Now we pay for their slaughtering and murder and dismemberment and torture and rape though. What happened in between? What disconnected us from reality, I wonder. Because if I talk to people, even if I'm not tempered or anything like that, even if, I, even if I'm as rational as somebody can be and as sugarcoating as somebody could be, but I, I, I won't do that anymore. I won't sugarcoat anything anymore because that is disrespectful and disregarding to the real victims here. Even if I talk like that, people get offended so easily, like, oh my god, sorry I I I I'm sorry I'm I'm sorry I beg you to stop paying for murder, basically. I'm sorry I offended you. I guess. Insanity, really. I'm, I'm not forcing anybody. I just talked about that realization and I spread it facts and I even some discussions, I, I literally just asked questions and they answered, they answered themselves basically and they still got offended. Imagine that beg people to stop paying for abuse and murder and rape. I'm not forcing anybody, I'm just talking and I'm just showing them what they are involved with. Most of them won't even watch that though because 
have mercy. I have to watch video content about something I put in my body every day. Please have mercy. If you still watching, um, thank you, because we, we all grew up as empathic beings. You have a child and put it in front of an apple or a rabbit. It doesn't chew on the rabbit and play with the apple. It's re the reverse. And I could talk about all these biological facts that we are indeed not even designed to eat animal products at all because our body has to fight against animal protein and cholesterol dietary cholesterol let's get back to the topic though i wanted to talk about as well which is the problems this year covid in the past what did we have we had mers ebola hiv swine flu avian flu mad cow disease covid what do you think where those viruses originate from what do you think happens if you put thousands of thousands of beings just like you and me basically who are capable of catching a virus what do you think happens if you crowd them together if one animal has it you can be sure that all of the others have it too i think ebola was from bats or camels swine flu avian flu and mad cow disease is obvious HIV belief, I believe, is from apes. Doesn't matter, you can look it up. It's from animals. A virus is able to, if you consume an infected individual, you get the virus yourself. And it adapts. That is the word I was lacking. The virus adapts. What was it difficult to talk in English right now? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm tempered. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway. Yeah. All I just... All I want is just for you to be the compassionate being you probably claim you are to be. Somebody who calls themselves compassionate but pays for abuse and murder and rape and torture every day, consciously. Because let me tell you that if you buy meat, it is nothing new that, that, that this meat is literally the body of somebody else. It's sure, it's, it's safe. Like, obviously, except it, it's plant-based, but then it's not real meat but it tastes like real meat a whole nother topic basically even though i can briefly discuss briefly talk about that as well because just like i told you before that we are not designed to the, uh, eat meat and animal products um, we are also obviously not designed to taste them because if you eat meat what you are tasting are the plant seasonings the fat, the oil. You're not tasting blood and tendons and veins. You, you can't. Yeah, I'm drifting off again. Um, yeah, I just want you to stop paying for abuse and murder. If you buy animal products, I can assure you that those animals are not being treated nicely and even if you're even if we are assuming like we are on this utopian world where cows get belly rubs and all that bullshit honestly use without consent is exploitation all exploitation is a form of abuse 
and all abuse is immoral. Simple as that case closed forever. You can try to avoid any unnecessary harm wherever it occurs. I beg you to. I could go on and on if you haven't realized already, but I, I, I try to wrap things up. Imagine everybody would be vegan and imagine children would be taught compassion and ethics in school and to treat every being, every, no, every so small worm or mouse with basic decency and respect and let them live. Do you, do you honestly think in a world like that wars would exist? Who do you think believes that they are worth more than somebody else? Somebody who doesn't want to involve in unnecessary killing and exploitation and murder? Or somebody who is willing to do that? You can't compare people one to one, but not killing is better than killing, isn't it? I am not viewing myself as somebody better than a non-vegan, but in terms of supporting violence and murder and torture and rape, that doesn't mean that I view myself overall as somebody better, because we all have our flaws. But shouldn't we stop pointing with our fingers on, on somebody else and start pointing it at ourselves first? Be the change you want to see in the world. Like, what bothers, what bothers me the most is that there are so many hypocrites in this world not even realizing they are hypocrites. And all they can do is get offended and avoid reality as much as possible. Please don't, please don't show me the truth. That is what I find pretty saddening because as somebody who realized that I am just as much worth as all the other beings that I share this planet with, I have to, I have to watch what happens to those unfortunate beings day after day. It's sickening. It is truly sickening. Sick of all those ex-vegan bullshit. That is why I'm... That is basically why I'm making this video. And because I want to talk about veganism and I want to talk about COVID and pandemics in general, but what I'm sick of the most are those hypocrites because you are not some ex justice proposer you know what i mean it's insane yeah i i said this like a bunch of times already but i'm 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 done right now i'll let you go your way now and i'll wrap this up thank you for listening to me if you're still watching honestly Thank you. And if you're not vegan, ask me whatever you want. I will help you unconditionally if you give me the basic respect that every being on earth deserves. If you have questions, I help you as much as you want, honestly, because I'm, I'm, I want, I'm, I'm not telling people that I'm vegan because I want to feel superior or something like that. I tell people I'm vegan because I want them to acknowledge that vegans exist and they won't shut up until every cage is empty, basically. I'm telling people that I'm vegan because I want them to think about themselves, why, are they, why they are not, basically. And if they are not and confused and don't know where to start, I'm... I'm gladly helping if you're vegan already i'm thanking you as well because um 
this rant you probably I mean you know all of that already and you have to endure that as well already I'm, I'm still thankful that you watched to the end I will start making some breakfast right now I guess one grape isn't enough obviously I hope you will stay safe and I hope you will choose compassion this Christmas and every other day you don't lose anything you are only gaining and let me tell you the stuff you gain the most it's not the uh, environmental ecological footprint you reduce about 90% every day it's not about the health benefits if you eat whole foods plant-based legumes fruits vegetables starches the biggest upside of going vegan is that you don't have to be a hypocrite anymore the clear conscience that is the biggest upside because you feel so much better knowing that you don't contribute to that and if you realize or acknowledge other injustices you are involved with it's even easier to avoid those as well because you started conscience i think it's called your conscience and i just want to remind you that you were born with that you were you weren't born that cold-hearted being we all were born as compassion beings and i just want you to find back to your roots because it doesn't matter if you're right wing or left wing or atheist or muslim or christ or whatever it doesn't matter you can be all that i don't want you to ask i, I don't ask you to change your personality I ask you to stop funding abuse. That's all. Yeah. Okay. I will stop now. Thank you. Thank you so much. And have a great day. Stay safe. And here I am going, wait, no, I, I'm going to help. I'm just showing people what's going on. And they didn't recognize me. And this is where my anger emanates from when people don't want to listen to the message this is why vegans get so militant because i don't want to be a two-legged devil to the animals or to anybody i don't want to be vicious and mean and callous and vile but as a species we are so callous towards the animals that's how they view us and it brings to mind a, a quote that made me go vegan way back in the day from a bishop from England, uh, William Ralph Inge, I-N-G-E, in an 18th century sermon, this man said that we have treated our cousins in fur and feathers so horribly that beyond a doubt, if they ever formed an organized religion, the devil would be depicted in human form. That broke my heart the day I read it, and it still breaks my heart today because, again, they must look at us like we are devils. We cut things off their bodies, their horns, while they're fully conscious, off the cows. We cut the beaks off of the hens. We rip the testicles out of baby pigs when they're born. We torment them, put them on concentration camp trucks. We send them to slaughterhouses. They know what's going on. They're aware. They're conscious. They smell death and fear and blood in the air. We cut them up into pieces. This, uh, this, this stuff has to stop.